centre backs, left backs, out guns. It's all coming up on In and Out. Yes, welcome to a new series on the channel, In and Out, where we'll be looking at the latest transfer rumours and confirmed ones from the past week first off if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe to make sure you never miss out on the latest newcastle news as well as all the content we've got coming up for you this season in and out is brought to you by green king sport and speaking of green king sport is where football is more than just a game green king posts are showing every live newcastle united fixture this season Speaking of, why not catch myself, Carl and Sam at the junction next to the Haymarket bus station on Saturday when Newcastle take on Man City. With over 900 sports pubs across the UK, doesn't matter whether you're in Newcastle or Norwich. Keep an eye out this season for events, offers and competitions that all put you closer to the action. So first off, earlier this week and a little bit later into the previous week, Newcastle were linked with a couple of centre-halves, main one being Edmund Tapsova from Bayer Leverkusen. Now with a value on his head of around €40 million, Euros, this is probably a deal Newcastle would be looking to do staggered payments with or shift a few faces out of the club before we make any sort of deal. As a right-sided centre-half, Tapsova would probably come in as a bit of shark cover at first. I mean, we're crying out for some cover if Shaw gets injured. I know there was threats there pre-season that, that a muscle was going to go on his leg, but fortunate enough, he was here for the absolute thrashing over Villa on Saturday. Another centre-half we've been linked with throughout this window is Piero Hincapié, Tapsova's teammate at Bayern Leverkusen. Now, what I like personally about Hincapié is he can play as a left-back, but he's mainly a left-sided centre-half, so ultimately... He's that perfect replacement for Dan Byrne in my eyes. Now, Ben Jacobs has came out and said that Hincapié, although he's contracted at the German club till around 2027, that he could be one to keep an eye on up until the end of the window as there's already been contact made with a couple of Premier League clubs. Now, for most Newcastle fans, the left-back position is one that's been cried out for, let's say, for here throughout this window, and it seems that those cries are finally getting answered. We'll start off with two Spanish left-backs that the club's apparently been looking at throughout the window and are quite keen on, uh, Mark Cucurea and Juan Miranda. Cucurea, for me, is one that I think would do pretty well under Eddie Howe. I mean, he was fantastic in that season with with Brighton. Um, my lighting's just gone. <laughs> yeah, both Miranda and Cucurea have both been watched by the club. Whether or not there's any kind of potential of a deal there, I don't think so. Moving on now to Kieran Tierney. Now, this one has been heavily reported by the likes of Sky. Keith Downey outside the training ground earlier this week saying that Newcastle had made contact with Arsenal and that Howe wants this player. I think myself, like every other Newcastle fan, is probably worried about Tierney's injury record. It's not necessarily great. And as you know, Newcastle play a brand of high intensity football. So the main concerns are would he be able to keep up with that? Is he gonna last? Is he gonna get injured? It's all a bit up in the air for me. But if he was to get signed for the right fee, I think around twenty five million pounds, I think he could be a great addition to the squad. Now the most recent link and supposed Newcastle fan, which makes us love this link even more, he's young. Bags of potential, played great against us last season and of course was the only standout player for that team when they visited St James's Park last season. I'm of course talking about Lewis Hall of Chelsea. Now he was one that apparently Chelsea were kind of hesitant to let go. There was talks of a loan move to Crystal Palace but now that seems it's hit a bit of a stall as we have came stiffing about. Yes, Lewis Hall, 18 year old. 30 million apparently Chelsea are asking for and are now willing to sell. There are rumours that we are in talks with Chelsea and are even in fact maybe close, but that's one we're going to have to wait and see on. If it was to happen, it'd be an amazing sign in, in, my, in my opinion. We're looking at bringing in young players, look at Livermento to kind of develop and then learn under the kind of the senior pros we've got at the club, we'll say. Lewis Hall already does have a little bit of Premier League experience, making 11 senior team appearances last season. And like I mentioned, played great against us in a game that we heavily dominated. Now, there's been a lack of outgoings at the club since Alan St. Maximum left for Saudi Arabia. However, there could be another winger on his way out the club. This time, 
in the form of Ryan Fraser. Yes, the forgotten man joined the club back in 2020 on a free after leaving Bournemouth at the end of his contract there. Fraser has had dips in and out of form for the team. Came in when Eddie Howe had first taken over the team. Uh, obviously, Eddie had plenty of experience managing Fraser at Bournemouth, knew what it could bring to the team and brought him in there. However, he's since been exiled from the first team and has now been training with the youth squads. So there's been numerous sources linking Fraser with a link to Celtic. Now, I've done my little research on Twitter and Celtic fans seem to be in two minds about about Ryan Fraser. I mean, look, when he played for Newcastle, he was, he was canny, not necessarily a world beater, but did a job when we, we needed players, you know, when relegation was was threatening. Of course, moving Ryan Fraser off the wage bill would be a massive help with financial fair play and then allowing us to bring other players in like a Lewis Hall or maybe Taps over. With more rumours coming up now of outgoings like Ryan Fraser, do you think we'll start to see a bit more? I think we will. We, we need to shift out the players, you know, we've still got the likes of Mankio, Jeff Hendrick, Isaac Hayden, just to name a couple there uh, that need to be moved on. Uh, I think they need moves themselves, though obviously not going to be in the squad. Eddie Howe's already said there's a couple of the names I mentioned that he does want to shift on. Do let us know which uh, rumour in this video excites you the most and who you would like to see coming at the club and also who you think might be leaving the club this summer. Do let us know in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to check out your local Green King pub. That's it for this first episode of in and out If you did like the video, please be sure to drop us a like. It helps the channel out massively. And like I mentioned at the start of the video, to subscribe. We've got plenty of content coming up this season, including weekly in and outs Maybe more, depending on the news. So yeah, like, subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.